I've gotten a lot of questions on how to handle wing parity, so here's a guide on doing that at a wide range of skill levels. To start off, if you're using the R2 method for wings, here's the only alg that you need to know. To execute this on a 4x4, simply ignore this middle slice. It should look as follows. Here's an example of how this would be applied in a solve. We have our last target right here, and we have wing parity. So we simply execute this last target with R2, and now we just apply the alg. Simple as that. If you use 3 style for wings, then it can be very useful to know multiple algs to solve wing parity more efficiently. As such, I have a document containing algs for all 276 wing 2 swaps that will be linked in the description. However, it's not even close to necessary to know all of these to be able to solve wing parity successfully as a 3 style user. I'll show you a couple of the most important algs right now. Once again, these algs can be used in 4-blind simply by ignoring what the middle slice does. To use these in solves, there are two different methods by which you can set up your parity targets to uh, UFR and either BUR or FDR. So the first one is to just directly move them into place. So here we have UFR FDR and just do our alg and then undo our setup. The second method is slightly slower but can be helpful uh, in some cases where it's cumbersome to set up the target. For example, we have this case where we can't directly set this up into, um, into FDR or BUR because we would have to move our centers out of place and wing parity algs are very rarely center safe. So what we can do instead for this is to do the commutator from UFR to your target, and then BUR, for example. So you can do that, and now it's just reduced to UFR BUR. The next step to having more efficient parity solutions would be to learn an alg that swaps your main buffer, ideally UFR, with um, any target around the puzzle. So this would be 23 parity algs. Beyond this, you can simply learn full parity at your own pace. Most of the algs on my sheet are setups to more basic cases, so it shouldn't be very difficult to memorize full wing parity if you wish to do so. There are still more advanced ways to solve wing parity, but I won't really be going into detail right now about those. But I hope this short video helped you improve your wing parity solutions, and I would appreciate uh, if you left a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more tutorial content in the future. Bye everyone.